Resignation. We are going to watch the Super Mario Brothers movie finally. We did not see this movie, which I believe is the most successful film of all time in the movie theaters. Just so we can react to it with you here. So you guys are like, you should support the movie theaters. Billions of people already <laughs> took care of that for us. We got a job to do. John, how you doing? Mamma mia. I'm excited. Are you excited to catch every single Easter egg? Every one and know every obscure character's name. Name. Guys, for every Easter egg we miss, you make sure to comment in the comment boxes below. Also, leave it a like. That'd be very much appreciated. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has supported the Reject Nation by getting yourself a Space Babies t-shirt. It is almost our number one most selling shirt at shopzeroedition.com. I feel like it fits in tuned animated guardians, you know, Chris Pratt. It all works. It works. It's connected. Thank you, guys. Link in the description box if you want to go get yourself a Space Baby shirt today. Oh, yeah. And lastly, I want to say a special thank you to everyone who has followed us at our Patreon page by becoming super sexy rejects. We've been getting so many patrons due to the fact that we've been covering so many movies. Full length reaction watch alongs where you sync with your own copy of Mario available for them over there. And also we cover several things exclusively with reaction hides and watch alongs included for our patrons. Alrighty guys, let's get to it. Ah, yes! <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> It's already working on me. <laughs> <laughs> Animation looks great. Yeah. <laughs> Spartans. So cinematic. It's sort of a cool in 3D, I bet. Open the gates or die. <laughs> Locked gates. Paddle <laughs> 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 without honor, humanity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brought ice to a lava fight. A taste of our fury. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. Oh, poor penguins. <laughs> that is threatening. It's epic. No. <sighs> the star? Yes. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. Love <it>. Nice. Oh. <laughs> oh, it is a star, right? Yeah, okay. okay. Finally found it. And now no one can stop me! Guess we're gonna do soon. <laughs> I've collected a bunch of real brothers. And plummets again. <laughs> like fame. We're faster than the others, you'll be hooked on the brothers. Huh? On the brothers. So when you're just a face with the Super Mario Brothers, you're... Oh my god, Easter eggs galore. Damn. I am so glad we spent our life savings on this commercial. That is cinema. Uh, what about the accents? Is it too much? Too much? It's a perfect. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh, he's got the colors of the original Mario. Is that the original voice actor, I bet? If it isn't Brooklyn's favorite failures, the stupid Mario Brothers. Oh, the Wrecking Crew guy? Tell me, have you even gotten one call since you left me to start your dumb company? As a matter of fact, Spike, we have. Nice. You're a joke, and you always will be. No, he's gonna prove himself yeah. in this movie. He's gonna become a badass, the chosen one. That game inspired Wreck-It Ralph. He's three times your size. Luigi, come on. You know, you can't be scared all the time. Mm, you'd be surprised. <laughs> GameCube! GameCube! <laughs> a drip in your faucet, that's great! That's great, you called us, because we can be there and we can fix it right away. Okay. <laughs> the Super Mario Brothers are in business! Yes. <laughs> I love the GameCube love that has resurfaced lately. Punch up. Come punch up, he's for real. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay. And this was also in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. <laughs> Wherever so strides Chris Pratt, boy. The Beastie Boys are not far behind. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Nice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the up and down. Oh. Yes. <laughs> right down the pole. Oh. The princess is in another castle. That was fun. That's a princess. <gasps> he likes you. <laughs> What have you done, Luigi? What? Ah, Francis is here. <laughs> huh? Hey there, pal. Wow. <laughs> Kill the dog. <laughs> oh, no. Mario! Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh. Whoa. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, super shower brothers. No. <laughs> Whoa. Jeez. Love the way this is shot. Yeah. And the textures are gorgeous. That hellhound is gonna escape! No, he won't. <laughs> it all comes down to one wrench every time. Mario? No. Who's going to be here? Oh, oh no. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Great <fixtures>. plungers. <laughs> Star Fox. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's the movie I want to make, boy. We are very close to fixing this. Somebody help! Somebody save Brooklyn! Save Brooklyn? Save Brooklyn! This is our chance! Come on! Ah, uh, Duck Hunt. <laughs> Where? The little duck uh, logo on oh, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm sure we've already missed like 20 Easter yeah, eggs. So. <laughs> I should have brought my Duck Hunt gun. You are not seriously considering <laughs> Mario! <laughs> Yes, down the warp tube. This is a gorgeous looking movie. Yeah, a lot of the environments look real. Oh boy. Come on. You will lose the Mario. No. Whoa. What is this place? <laughs> wow, if you're impressed by that, just get ready, man. <laughs> you got a whirl of the tubes ahead of you. Luigi! Hold on to your mustache. <laughs> Bye, Frost. <laughs> Enter the Stargate. <laughs> Us as long as we're together. Sure. Oh, no. no. The Bifrost. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a little Doctor Who. Doctor Mario. There's Robotniks around here somewhere. Pleased to meet you. I'm Toad. <laughs> uh, Mario. This place is... The Mushroom Kingdom! Now that is a cruel twist of fate. That is what he hates. Uh, See, last time I saw him, he, he was falling through a pipe. It was foggy, and, and I believe there was lava. Uh, Your brother has landed in the Darklands. Bowser's control. Uh-oh. Why'd you say that name? <sighs> Good score. Hang on, Luigi. <laughs> Wow, Mario, you've adjusted to this magical wonderland really fast. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Is that a Yoshi? It's like a little ghost turtle. Yeah. Oh, a ghost turtle? Oh. <laughs> or skeleton turtle. Oh, I 
could watch this all day. I'm saying, bring me that Luigi's Mansion movie. <laughs> oh my God, please do a Luigi's Mansion movie. <laughs> How cool and visually striking this is. Yeah. I feel like we're in Resident Evil now. <laughs> Castlevania. <laughs> 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 yes. Chantrell. Nice to see you, bud. Hey. Hey. hey, Bertha. Does this thing work? Yes, works great. You just have to blow into it. Antiques, I love it. They're all 8 bit. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, they're good at using the motifs, but still having it feel like a real movie score. Oh. Huh? Cool. Yes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> How would you navigate this? It's just like the sewer. Oh. Here we are. Palace doors. Bing, bang, boom. Come on. <laughs> Woo! Oh, it's like the N64 version. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, hey, I need to see the princess. What princess? I never heard of any princess. Oh, wait, I did. Our princess, though, is in another castle. I'm not falling for that. I don't like it. <laughs> what do you guys, um, what do you want to eat? Anything, anything your hearts desire. Go! Uh, <laughs> nice. Council, your attention. Bowser has found the superstar and is headed toward our kingdom. No. Their mad king doesn't make alliances. The Kongs will never agree. I can convince him. I'll leave for the jungle kingdom in the morning. That's okay. going to be cool. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> Make fun of me all you want, but you were going to help me find my brother. Please? Well, okay. Let's see what you're made of. That was this quite movie's, a negotiation. This movie's cutting through every ounce of fat. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> no debate. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> nice. Looks like the Lego version. I was going to say, where's the Lego Mario movie? Flat traps. like a training course. If you can finish this, you're coming with me. Watch and learn. Way to go, Peach. Wow. Oh, she doesn't need a protector. The action visuals are gorgeous. That's <laughs> the bane love of it. my existence. Yeah, Peach. Hey, yeah. I love it. Like out of uh, Mario 2. How, how am I supposed to do that? With the power-ups. They give us special abilities. Uh, <laughs> really? Go on. Eat it. Make you big and strong. Uh, Time to okay. trip out, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Dang. <laughs> We've all been there, buddy. Oh, yeah. When you get hit, you lose the power. Come on, try again. <laughs> Needle drops. <laughs> 1980s. That's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Having sense memory flashbacks. Come on, get the top. Don't look down. No. Oh, come on, Mario. We have a long journey ahead of us, Mustache. But I didn't make it. You almost did. No one gets it right away. I was not good at it. Worse than you. You're full of crap, lady. <laughs> I grew up here. Okay, now you're just trying to make me feel better. No. Is it working? A little bit. Yeah. Ah, you too. <laughs> Ba-bum. <laughs> Goombas. <laughs> References. My army. Koopas. Yeah. Goombas. Goombas. Whatever those things are. 
I will ask their princess to marry me in a fairy tale wedding. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what? Okay. Doesn't she hate you? Of course she hates me. But that makes me love her all the more. Her heart-shaped bangs, the way she floats in the breeze. That's interesting. <laughs> well, what if she says no? Then I will power up with this star and destroy the Mushroom Kingdom! Prepare yourselves for the best wedding ever! Yeah. He's in love with her. I guess that's why you kidnap a princess. <laughs> Baby Luigi! Baby Mario. Uh, I love that they even kind of brought back this design. Our days of terror are almost over. With the help of the Kong army, we will stop. Uh, who's he? He's not important. <laughs> oh, huh, huh. You're important, Mario. <laughs> You're coming with us. Let's move. <laughs> <laughs> Jump in the cannon. Yoshi's. Hey. Oh my god, a Jack Black song. <laughs> Is something it? Von Koopa? <laughs> Understand. I'm on the love you tell the very end. I love that they let him do this. Peaches, 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 peaches. peaches. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to ask if they let him improv this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Why'd you interrupt no! him? No! A mustachioed human has arrived in the Mushroom Kingdom. The princess has been training him. They are up to something, sire. Sit. Jam with me. <laughs> yes. yes. Ludwig von Koopa. Where did he come from? We... <laughs> Look in the mirror. You have nothing to worry about. I know that. I'm not threatened. Ooh. Jack Black is great. Yeah. I just finished Kung Fu Panda 3, so it's kind of fun just switching to this <laughs> an hour later. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. We're going to save him. That firepower. Pass. I was so lucky they found me. They took me Wait. in, raised me like one of their own. You're clearly from Earth. Your parents are probably so worried. And maybe you're from my world. There's a huge universe out there with a lot of galaxies. Yes. Super Mario galaxies. Galaxy, yeah. <laughs> maybe you just got to go through that pipe, Peach. Yeah. Find your parents. Yeah, I mean, it seems like you could easily trace it back to... <laughs> <laughs> what is your name? Uh, Luigi... Luigi Mario. There's a human traveling with my fiance. Do you know him? N no. Like they twirled somebody else's mustache. Do you think I know every human being with a mustache wearing an identical outfit with a hat with the letter of his first name on it? Uh, because I don't. Oh. <laughs> oh, is, uh, no, no. no. Uh, How come I know him? Yeah, he's my brother Mario, and he's the best guy in the world. No. Sessies find him attractive. They do if they have good days. <laughs> oh. Where am I? <laughs> oh. What is that star's name? L Lumin Luminaire? <laughs> Lumia? There's no escape. The only hope is the sweet relief of death. <laughs> 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 uh, I thought that star can get out of there. I don't know. Problem, it seems like. Oh. We are here to see the king. Follow me. <laughs> are they? Time for a little Diddy Kong racing. Is that Funky Kong? This is cool. This is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Great reference. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, get the boost. <laughs> yes. They got the updated Mario Kart in here. 
What makes you think you're worthy of fighting alongside the greatest army in the world? <laughs> Interesting voice choice. <laughs> We're not leaving without your army. Defeat my son in the great ring of Kong. Let's go. Let's get it going. Thank you, Fred Armisen. That's Fred Armisen? Yeah, I think so. Wow, so many Kongs. Awesome. DK rep. DK. I'm Donkey Kong. DK. Donkey Kong. Okay, simmer down. I said simmer down. <laughs> That means you, Diddy Kong! Diddy Kong! Ah. Okay. Guess you're not getting my army! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Is this what you came for? We love you, DK! <laughs> <laughs> It is on like Donkey Kong! Yes. <laughs> on like me. Oh, nice. You're about to pick on someone your own size. It's a different kind of mushroom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's tiny. <laughs> I guess he got the wrong mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it actually w works really well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get up, Mario. Come <laughs> on, Mario. Platforms. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. The barrels. It's like the Donkey Kong arcade. Classic. Yes. Oh, here we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. Wow. Jeez. He's just a human. How can he withstand <laughs> the pain? Ouch. That's right. <laughs> Good fake out. Katsu. <laughs> I'm a cat. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Put some respect on that cat suit. Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I take that as a yes. Oh. Mario, Mario. We've located Bowser's ship. He's gonna arrive at the Mushroom Kingdom by sundown. We're gonna need caught. Yes. I normally love Fred Armisen, but I'm not a big fan of the choice of the voice. He could be older and crankier. Go. I love how they structure this to get to references. 64 on that shoulder plate. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, build your cart. Oh, yeah. It's like an Iron Man reference. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the motorcycle. Toad. <laughs> <laughs> I usually play as Toad. Yeah, man. Get that speed and agility. I hate you. To the Mushroom Kingdom and the biggest fight of our lives. Here we go. What's the shortcut going to be? So it's not going to be a race. No. Well, that we know of. Princess Peach? Here we are. <laughs> I guess 
Love really makes a guy come out of his shell. <laughs> <laughs> we have found the princess and the mustachioed human. They are heading toward their secret passage. Oh, they think they can surprise me, huh? Two can play at that game. <laughs> Mad Mario Fury Road. It's gonna have Anya Taylor Joy's Furiosa. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Easter eggs within Easter eggs. <laughs> Get it twisted. The rainbow. The rainbow road. <laughs> Woohoo! We don't drive on rainbows. What are you going to tell me next? That the turtles aren't evil? They're usually pets. No way. Back <laughs> on the Brooklyn, I'll buy you a turtle. <laughs> hey, you like the turtles? You know, I would often play as Bowser in uh, Mario Kart, so this is fitting. Yes, oh, the shell. Oh, yeah. Come on, get a spiked one. The bananas. No. This really is like Mad Max. Mad Max Rainbow Road. God, it's so hard driving. Now jump off one ramp and fall onto another and cut everybody two laps. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That would be absolutely terrifying. Gnarly. Hey, Mario Drift. <laughs> Throw the shelf. Damn, Peach, you be whooping ass. Oh, my. I feel cute to Toad. Oh. Holy moly. Uh -huh. That well done. is how you princess. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, God. <laughs> You never know when to quit, Mario. <laughs> See ya! Hey! Woo. Wow, we're just murdering characters. Hey, man, they're just Koopas. Their lives mean nothing. You can't escape me! What? Blue Shell! Oh, Blue Shell. Blue Shell. It's inescapable. A cool sci-fi shot. I feel like it should have been the red shell because a blue shell usually goes to the front of the race line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas a red shell, you can specifically target it. <laughs> Clearly, the creators need to study up on their Mario Kart. <laughs> oh no! Save him. We need a spinoff. <laughs> need all the spinoffs. Oh. oh, not bad. You saved my life. Yeah, well, I won't tell anyone. Good, please don't. It's <laughs> <a> great delivery. <laughs> Whoa! Swim! Oh, that was scary. Yeah, and the lighting and the water, like. Yeah, these moving shots are incredible. Princess? We lost the army. And Mario's gone. <gasps> well, not Mario! <laughs> <laughs> Wowie. I stole this star for us. I guess God. love really makes a guy come out of his shell. <laughs> oh, no, buddy. No. <laughs> I like this motive. I would never marry you. Maybe you should reconsider. 
That's how you want to get a yes. Just marry him. What's the big deal? It's your job. You're a woman. It's like there's no other humans here. How do you even know what the concept of a human is? <laughs> You're invited to the royal wedding! Yay! Where you will all be ritualistically sacrificed! <laughs> Yay! Well, at least your brother isn't going to die because of you. At least you're not going to die with your dad thinking you're a joke. And what my dad thinks I'm a joke too. Yeah. Well, your dad's right. <laughs> <laughs> just, just leave me alone. I've never met your dad, but he sounds brilliant. Just go in a corner and <laughs> smash some stuff, Smash Monkey. <laughs> I am more than a guy who smashes things. I think Donkey Kong's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> The that was rocket. convenient. Wow! That was a gorgeous shot. <laughs> ba bomb king guy. <laughs> That's a nice detail. Oh, King Boo! You really thought I'd marry you? Kinda. I'd never marry a monster. Oh. Nice. Ice. Ah. Ah. <gasps> they gotta be up there. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> Come on, fire suit. Well, eh. yes. Ooh, fire Kong. Yes. Yes. Yoo-hoo. Ah, love it. Yeah. Hey, hey, there yeah. you go. <laughs> Oh no! Yes! Yes! There's raccoon, raccoon suit. suit! Love the leaf. My favorite suit from Mario 3. Oh no! <laughs> Dude, Peach is so badass in this movie. Is that murder? Oh. Luigi! Save my boy. <laughs> Donkey Kong. More than just a smasher. Whoa. That would be a terrifying scenario. Yeah, hold on. Oh, no. Blue Mario. <laughs> I told you. See? This whole is we're together. Everything is going to be okay. Oh, I wish they were together for more of the movie. Yeah, really. Ugh. That jealousy. Breakthrough with pure rage. Launch the bomber bill and destroy the mushroom kingdom! Oh no. Oh no. no. What are you gonna do, Mario? You know, just. Hop on top of it real quick. Beep. You asked for it. Yeah. Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> Hello. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting like Iron Man flashes. Yeah. Like 2012 Avengers. Oh sure. No, totally. <laughs> Send it to Earth. <laughs> Make him a pet. A little closer. Yeah. 
Oh. Where'd you just send it? Okay. <laughs> just out into the circuits of time. Oh no. These pancakes are good though. To save Brooklyn, you gotta first put Brooklyn in a lot more danger. Yes! <laughs> huh? God, Brooklyn? <laughs> oh. Mario? <laughs> you almost dead to my. Whoa! Damn. When there's something strange <laughs> in your in neighborhood. neighborhood. <laughs> Grab it. Power up, Mario. Power up, you little Italian man. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Smash Seriously, bro. his strength is impeccable. <laughs> Ruined my wedding. I was finally gonna be happy. Aw, where are you? Now you will suffer. Oh, uh, the luck card thing on the side of the building. Yeah, Peach. Come out. Mamma mia! That's why the Super Mario Brothers are here uh, to save Brooklyn. Aww. That's a call. <laughs> and do the whole thing in your Italian accent. Leave him alone! Mario! You just don't know when to quit. That's his problem. Themes. That's mine! Come on, Mario. Run. Power up. Thanks, you just gave him a boost. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Aww. Aww. My man. I would get the star. Oh! Ooh. Awesome. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. The score is amazing. Aw. The run. That's right, Mom and Dad. Wow. There you go. Mamma Mia. Love it. Oh. Whoa. Right into his own nose. Whoa. Yikes. Kick it ass. <laughs> now that's what I call a Mario party. No, 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 no. no. Oh. Ah, he got the blue mushroom, eh? Yes, it did. Let's hear it for the Super Mario Brothers! Ah, uh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they have the original guy there. Yeah. It's almost as if he could have been in the movie. Nah, it's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Charged way too much. Guardians 2. <laughs> Is that Captain Falcon's car on the <laughs> on the wall? Falco Punch! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well done. Mario. <laughs> now that's a happy ending. Or is it? Because everything's over now. And all that's left is you and the infinite void. Boop, <laughs> <laughs> boop. Do do ba da ba do ba ba do do. 
<laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. All right. Shigeru well, Miyamoto. I'm assuming there's going to be a post credit scene. Got to be at least five. Ba da ba da ba ba. All right. Well, might as well start reviewing it now. Sure thing. <laughs> Review starts now. And then we raise that volume over we, we freak out when a scene starts. All right. Review starts in three, two, <laughs> one, and John, take it away. Ah, oh, this was very, very much fun. I mean, you know, I, I had heard varying things from people about, like, oh, how the story moves. And, yes, like, the story itself is straight to the point, as you said, no fat on it. But it was super fun, super colorful, and just, like, beautifully realized in terms of just, like, the designs, the textures, the lighting, the camera work, the actual choice to make it feel like real camera work and stuff like that, all the different uh, characters they chose to include out of the Pantheon. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think there's certainly ways they can build on this. They can, you know, make an even more satisfying Super Mario Bros. movie, especially when there's more Luigi for my money. But, uh, you know, for <laughs> for where we are in video game movies and stuff like that, uh, this was super duper fun. And, uh, and yeah, I, I would be happy to see this on a big screen at some point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I feel like this was a, there was a, a good, it was a good movie. It was a, a good movie, but there was a great movie that they could have made out of it. 100%. And that's the part of me that I'm like, oh, I could see the great movie here. And like, you don't really have to change anything about like who the characters are necessarily it's just it, it could have they could have just taken their time a little bit more and flesh more things out a little, a little, it needed a little bit of that phil lord and chris miller touch i think yeah i don't think i did myself room. any favors just finishing kung fu panda 3 <laughs> which is the weakest <laughs> of the kung fu panda movies uh still love that movie uh at the same time like probably shouldn't have just watched that movie right after which does do a lot more of like character building and fleshing scenes out and fleshing out the characters to get to the point let's put this up the audio up mario luigi and a donkey kong too <laughs> princess peach at the end of the line i'll make you mine yes awesome awesome has he performed this live Hey! No! Put it in there! Lights out, little guy! Hey! You can't treat me like this! Do you know who I am? I am Bob! Oh. Damn. Yeah, and like I think the voiceover work was pretty great. I have, I have, I have a couple of mixed opinions about uh, the direction they took with Chris Pratt's Mario. Mm. Uh, because I thought like the overall choice was good. Let's just start with the let me rattle off the good ones, right? I don't want to be too cynical here at the very top. Because the way I would overall package is like I understand this is a movie for kids, and I think as a kids movie, it's pretty rock solid. Like it's a solid kids movie. I could totally see this being the kind of movie that parents love their children to go witness and you can even put on the TV multiple times. Like for children, it's fantastic. And I guess the reason why I was making the Kung Fu Panda comparison was because I was like, oh, I'm used to, you know, like in the animated medium of like movies that are like really for the whole families that even as an adult, you can really appreciate it. So that's so I thought there were like elements lacking in storytelling. But as a fan of the Mario games, yeah, no, the the references and the Easter eggs and all the nostalgia elements were totally working for me whenever they were on screen because there was some beautiful animation in here from beginning to end. And so many, I'm sure we missed plenty of references yeah. that were like in the backgrounds or whatever, or maybe yeah. some that were front and center that we didn't catch. Uh, however, like then they did bring a lot of that visually to life. It was, it was gorgeous and it does play on that nostalgic feeling. So as a Mario fan, I was satisfied with a, a lot of that in regards to doing that, especially compared to like the, you know, Mario live action movie that came out a couple days, decades ago. This was this was amazing. I thought Bowser was great, right? Yeah. I mean, I think uh, yeah, I love I love the choice of uh, having him be in love with Peach. Yeah, no, I thought that was a nice. I, I mean, like, why else? I guess would you be kidnapping this princess over and over and over again, if not for some kind of political gain, then for love? And uh, yeah, I thought that was a really fun way to just give Bowser some kind of flavor that you could latch onto. And I I would agree agree pretty much with everything you just said it's like there are those moments especially where like mario and peach are learning about each other or they're bonding like you know there's not really any 
you don't come to a movie like this for like character development, but there were a couple key moments where I was like, yeah, if you let this breathe and you didn't like rush directly past the meat of this little scene, we could have something that's like touching and that, yeah, endears you beyond the functionality of being, you know, just a, a recreation of all the, you know, major tenets of Mario and Donkey yeah. Kong and whatever else. But it had moments where you could see the, it's like it had a heart, but it could have used more of a beating heart. Every, yeah. Everything about it was there was there was constantly something there like, oh, this chemistry with Donkey Kong and the, the competition and the bickering. Like, oh, yeah, a lot of this is a great, great outline. No, <laughs> like, totally. There's a solid outline here, but the, the lead into a lot of things and the building of a lot of things just could have been way more fleshed out. And you could just see, th- like, there's a, there's a greater, more emotionally fulfilling and funnier movie too yeah because if you play up a lot of more of the emotions and a lot and like play into more of like with cranky kong and donkey kong then some of the jokes would even work a lot stronger as well so there was a lot of opportunities that i thought they could have made for again like i said like a strong just a stronger overall movie like voice work was great peach was as awesome as i expected her to be i thought anya taylor joy did an excellent job craved more luigi because i think charlie totally. day was perfect casting for luigi yeah absolutely and, perfect and and the opportunity to hear them together because i really like their you know back and forth but you know like uh, because luigi is so relegated through so much of this like i did find myself wanting a bit more of that because i don't know like the chemistry and uh i don't know i feel like growing up you know everybody has if you grew up on Mario games, like I was a Luigi kid, I, I usually was like, if given the opportunity, I was like, yeah, I want to be Luigi. And so, like, you know, you want, I think, that rapport. And I mean, you don't get like a Wario or a Waluigi in this, but you know, you want to feel like the Mario brothers are both well represented here. Yeah. And yeah, it's like you do have a great choice in Charlie Day. And, and you know, I know Chris Pratt has received so much of the attention, good and bad, for this. Um, and yeah, it's like I thought he was nice. I, I like that they account for the Italian accents in the commercial and stuff like that. Like that's kind of cheeky and fun. The rest of the time, Mario kind of reminded me a bit of, of of Mark Wahlberg, but not in a way that was like bad or distracting. Um, I I did think his performance lacked an energy, though. Sure, everyone else really, even with a choice like Fred Armisen, who who I wasn't a big fan of the choice. Uh, let's just see this post credit. Make a lot of I want to lay down a prediction, but I don't want to ruin it if I'm right. I'll do that. Yep. Oh, yeah. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Godzilla 99 ending. Yeah. Good tease. I was like, we didn't get. I mean, we saw some Yoshis. Maybe they shouldn't have shown any Yoshi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> that would have been more exciting, I think, if we didn't see. <laughs> I feel like Yoshi. If there's no Yoshi, anything short of having Yoshi be an actual character and an actual, you know, like sidekick steed to Mario, I think, is going to cause people to be like, "Where's Yoshi?" But uh, back to Chris Pratt, I did. I mean, I'm, I'd love to see more. I'd love to actually see Yoshi in a sequel. But to Chris Pratt, yeah, there was, I was like, oh, the voice choice is not bad. I actually yeah. thought the voice choice worked and worked for this movie. Um, so for, I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, we didn't have to shy away from that in the marketing. It worked for this movie. However, as the film kept going, and maybe it's because I wasn't truly, everything was just always like on a cute level, but lacked substance to me. And I, I wasn't like truly emotionally invested in Mario. Like, I was on board for the adventure because I'm a Mario fan, and I like seeing, like, Mario Kart come to life and all that. Uh, but I wasn't, like, you know, strongly rooting for Mario here. Yeah. And maybe it had something to do with my emotional investment in him. I did think Chris Pratt's uh, direction was surprisingly, like, restrained for an animated movie. Yeah, a little <laughs> you know? bit. It's funny. This does seem to be one of those things where I can feel a lot of different choices being made among the voice cast. I, I like most everybody to some degree that they got, but the two characters that I think were at the right 
energy level for the pace of the movie and just the way the movie chose to, yeah, kind of gloss over, you know, like the emotional beats and themes are touched upon in like singular little moments and then you move on. So it's like Donkey Kong and Bowser were the two voices, Definitely. Jack Black and Seth Rogen, that felt like perfectly attuned to what we're getting as well as what the characters are as well as what Day you want. Too. And Charlie Day, yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll only, I'll only wanting for the fact that he just doesn't get a lot of time to do his thing. Um, but yeah, it, I, I would agree. It's like the movie moves at such a pace. And I think I remarked early on when Luigi's in the forest at first, I was like, oh, this is kind of intense. But as things go on, it mostly derives intensity from just being such a fast paced movie and having such beautiful visuals. Because, yeah, it's like this whole thing about Mario not wanting to be some kind of joke to his dad and uh, Donkey Kong and identifying with that. And them, you know, like it, it really f kind of fell into that trap of like, Okay, we established a character conflict, and we're wrapping it up right away because we got to move along, and we're not going to yeah. do a scene about it. We're just going to kind of acknowledge it, and then have the updated character beat and move on. Yeah, and that, so that I was feel the like whole movie. Yeah, it really was, yeah. and I felt like Chris Pratt especially almost seemed like he wanted to go for something that had like a little more feeling in it, and I was like, dude, you're 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 getting drowned out a bit in the cacophony, and luckily, you know, this movie isn't really concerned that much with that stuff, so it's not, like, a big deal, but at the same time, it's noticeable. Yeah, it's a little noticeable. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I you know, like, a lot of Peach's stuff that they give her, like, I thought Anya Taylor-Joy did a good job, but, like, so much of her character is pretty much action lines directing where the plot's going. Yeah, I, th I think the storytelling, it did... At, at the end of the day, it's like the the thing that kept this movie alive was certain voice performances and consistent, beautiful animation throughout. Yeah, that energy. Yeah, so it just to me, it kept the movie at like a fine level to me. Yeah. Be, but the storytelling was the part where I was it, it really it just bugs me strongly because it's like it's right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's right there. But they don't give you like I, I don't really care about. I'm not worried about Peach and the peril there for the Mushroom Kingdom. It's yeah. kind of like you just like get it out of the way. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it every, feels every, all the conflicts is, feel requisite except, yeah. f and and they don't even really give you any time to. You know, Peach isn't going to marry Bowser, but I feel like that is the closest we get to some kind of interesting actual plot dynamic. Yeah, is watching how the whole marriage thing is going to f unfold, and then pretty quick, it's like, no, I was never going to yeah. marry you, and we're just back to fighting, and you know, it, it's it's fine. But yeah, there's so much here that's interesting and it's contained within this one movie that you wouldn't need a sequel to explore well i i think too you know i could already hear like certain comments coming in of being like well, what do you guys want I just wanted a cute fun movie and that's what we got and yeah like and it's yeah, a cute it's fun cute movie and, fun. And, I, and i will say it's a cute fun movie that's 100 percent right i do think though that we are also in a day and age where we get a lot of animated movies that are like truly expensive with a big voice cast like this yes where they have something that is truly emotionally engaging and you feel the stakes throughout. And, and like, you know, Chris Pratt was like in the Lego movie, you yeah. know? Like, you have these a these actors in here, and it's it's the, it's the a Mario movie. So I do think that it could have been more than, especially when you are presenting the pieces for it, to make it more than just passable kids' movie entertainment. And that's only where I'm coming from on it. Well, and but, to... Oh, no, no go, for, go for it. Uh, well, and, and you're aiming this not only at kids, you're aiming this at people who grew up in the 80s and 90s who had all that stuff and yeah. who would probably also want a little bit more oomph in their story, not that you're only, only aiming it towards them, but like there's so many 80s needle drops and things that are clearly only for or, or mainly for that side of the audience that includes us <laughs> that would want, yeah, something a little more to sink your teeth into alongside, you know, like the Mario games aren't always the deepest in terms of emotional plotting obviously but you know we all have an emotional connection to that and i think you want to replicate something akin to that with a movie like this yeah because they had all the they had all the points there of you know mario is is not uh looked f his career pursuits and his endeavors are not looked fondly upon by his family uh he feels like he's not good enough and uh, you know luigi relies so much on mario protecting him and then he's a fit, they don't even really lean too much into the fish out of water quality with Mario. And even with the training segment, I'm like, oh, we could have really done something here where you really feel like you got to root for him or Donkey Kong feeling like he's not good enough and his father, his father, the way his father views him. And then we could have really had a strong, truly strong bonding moment over that with them finding that kinship and rapport 
due to feeling like they're not good enough and they got to overcome this together, you know, yeah. like and the peril could have really felt real. Oh, not real, but, you know, actually tangible a, 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 tangible and to the point where you're like, yeah, go get them. Yeah. You um, want some that some of that emotional swell. Yeah. So I, I did miss I, I did. I would be lying if I said it like I, I wish we I really it does. It does leave me thinking about that because everything else that I'm like an admiration or appreciative of, I feel like I definitely expressed during this reaction of the video. <laughs> like I, I feel like I expressed that throughout. The best things so. about it are very immediate. <laughs> Yeah, not to yeah. say that they're all surface level, but they are immediate. I think for the things. most part, though, it's, it's it a is. pretty surface <laughs> level. <laughs> yeah, movie. For the most part, it's very surface level. Yeah, and I, I think a sequel though could improve upon it. Yeah. You know, like I, I, I think out of the video game movies, I, I'd still prefer the Sonic ones. Uh, like this looks better. This is more visually impressive, but I still prefer the Sonic movies. Sonic surprises you with heart, and I think that is the thing. Is like you could look at Super Mario and be like, "We're not coming for a plot or or, or things like that." But I'm like, every animated movie, especially of this variety, certainly benefits from people coming out and going, "Well, I didn't expect to be moved or to care so, so like much." A movie <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I this went above and beyond my expectations, and I mean, this they have so many things going for them, and so m much. So many resources, clearly, yeah. that they. I don't think it would have been too taxing to go above and beyond in those departments. No, no. But I think on the uh, on the surface stuff, that all does work, though. Like, yeah. the music is great. I love how it was a constant riff on the, a lot of the, the variations of the Mario themes throughout the game, not just the main tune. Mm. Uh, and I, I, I thought, actually, King of Michael Key as Toad was good. Yeah. I enjoyed his, his performance as well. Mm hmm and uh, the the Mario Kart sequences, the action sequences, because uh, a lot of them are, are they, a lot of the sequences to what was cool about the references is that it didn't just purely rely on references in their visual action scenes or their moving camera moments, like at the beginning in Brooklyn or, or when Donkey Kong's fighting Mario. Yeah. Like you'll pick up on it if you're familiar with it. Uh, but it doesn't rely on just like, hey, cool. I know that. Like you would, st yeah. I would still find it cool even if I wasn't aware of what they're referencing. Yeah. You know. Yeah, they just make the world feel alive enough, and they give you at least that one info dump on power ups, and I think that's most of what you need. The rest of it, you know, I think making Mario a bit of a fish out of water and introducing you to this world is is a good thing because it also harkens back to being a b beginner at a game. And also, it you know gives us an inroad to the hero journey. Well, if you're doing it animated, I think they could have really played up him being like a true fish out of water because he's just kind of like, oh, weird. Yeah, you I found know. my brother. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he should and be like freaking out. Yeah, especially in a place surrounded by his least favorite food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then yeah. Like giant lava, you know, floating Bowser head from the sky. Like, there's a lot of horror in this that doesn't really get acknowledged heavily in a character sense. Um, I like the songs that they have with Bowser. I saw in the credits that uh, Jack Black was able to write uh, write it. Uh, I, I think they could definitely do a great sequel, though. That's the thing is I, I do feel like this is a step in the right direction, and this that they could make a great sequel out of this. And I'd be down to see a Donkey Kong movie too, because I think I think uh, Seth Rogen's was. I did not expect to be saying that. I thought I would just only he, maybe some people feel this way. For like, I would love a Luigi's Mansion sp spinoff, um, but I thought. Seth Rogen was actually they really seemed like they they I felt like they were trying to fit what Chris, I feel like they had to work with Chris Pratt yeah. to fit him into it sure whereas they kind of molded Donkey Kong around Seth Rogen it felt they, like the perfect felt, blend yeah it was surprisingly natural it felt like a nice halfway where it's like okay Seth Rogen's got to do a little bit of not being just Seth yeah. Rogen but also this suits the character well enough that like yeah when he does his signature laugh like it it, it, it works wor it surprisingly <laughs> yeah. works yeah, yeah totally and it's not just i only see and hear Seth Rogen no it was the one it was it was one of the few characters where i really was just thinking about Donkey Kong yeah. Like like a lot of the time I was aware and and sometimes you know because I was excited or whatever else you know about different voice performances or because you know you're examining them to see how they are but he really yeah managed to just kind of disappear into the character in an odd way. Yeah, he's <laughs> one of the main he's one of the characters in the Kung Fu Panda movies as well, but every time he spoke in those I was aware of Seth, Seth Rogen. Rogen yeah. But here I I got lost in the Donkey Kong performance. I thought that was really great and I liked the the way they decided to write him. Like, I'm not familiar with what the Donkey Kong story actually goes like. And they tease Diddy Kong in here. Yeah. Uh, I, I, Diddy Kong was my favorite to play as, so yeah. I would love to see Diddy Kong. 
uh, Return. That's right, Diddy Kong Racing. That that game. I totally forgot I about that game. I rented that so yeah. many times. Totally forgot Lock about Buster that game. Video back yeah. in the day. Uh, I, yeah, totally forgot. Even Racing. when you said it, I didn't even remember it until like right now in this moment. I'm like, oh yeah, Diddy Kong Racing. I forgot about yeah, that game. Yeah, man, classic. You like fly and shit. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was, totally. That was tough. That wasn't an easy game for me. <laughs> no, no. In, in some ways, I remember being a bit more of a challenge to pick up than something like a Mario Kart. Yeah, a no, I thought it was outset, too. Yeah. yeah, I definitely thought it was. And I mean, you know, I've always found Donkey Kong a bit more challenging than the arcade Mario games. Yeah, because it's one of those movies where it's a fish out of water and they come to this magical land and then, it, well, you know, you're kind of like semi-chosen one to be the one to save it, the one, the, the least unexpected person. And... Uh, I, I wish of, I, yeah. I wish I kind of cared a little bit more about Mario, and I wish I cared a little bit more about the perilous situation these Toads and Peach was in. Well, yeah, because when they, he shows up, it's pretty much just like, "Hey, you're another human. Oh, you showed up right when I'm going on this adventure. I yeah. guess come along." <laughs> yeah, even for her, that could have been played up a little bit more of of like, what is the human world like, and trying to discover it. And yeah, yeah, it just, it just felt like it just could have used so like, many options. Could use an extra twenty minutes just to, to flesh do, out yeah. these scenes, just to make the scenes, just to enhance the scenes. Just twenty more minutes could have, like, then you could have added on like a couple more minutes to a lot of these scenes, and then bam, you would have had a much stronger, a much stronger film that resonates a lot more. Yeah. Um. But hey, as a kids' movie, does the job. Yeah. Gets the job done yeah because i think when you talk in the optics of family films that's where the lines get blurry because you go family films that encompasses because like yeah it's a film for the family but then there's like a film the whole family will really well, that's enjoy the, i feel yeah. like this this is a perhaps something that flirts with that line between being a kids movie versus being a family movie like i feel like they went the kids movie route for their actual storytelling yeah, and they had a lot of family movie themes yeah. that they just didn't really explore. Yeah, because yeah, exactly. It's like pitching it towards the whole family because there's there's inevitably going to be a bunch that you know the older audience is going to catch and, and is going to be coming looking for, and I feel like yeah, uh, the, speaking to that would be a benefit the next time around. But like you said too, they, they've laid themselves a strong foundation, which is a good thing. Yeah, there was a great movie there that could have existed. But uh, right now we got a really yeah, pretty good one. We got a we got a good one that delivers on the visuals uh, that one would want, and maybe you got exactly what you wanted. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. I got exactly what I expected. Yes, I did too. And, and <laughs> but I didn't. But I. But what pe what was poking at me was oh, but the great one is. Is, wants to come out. Yeah, yeah. it's right there. Yeah, that I can taste. I can see it. And if that great one wasn't there, yeah. <laughs> like like waiting to come out of its pipe, then I I probably wouldn't have said it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, totally. Um, but yeah. Anyway, guys, what did you think about the Mario Brothers movie? Did you overall love it? Did it did it uh, meet up to all the expectations for you? Comment all the Easter eggs we missed. Leave it all in the comment boxes below. Uh, you can subscribe, leave a like, or if you're mad at us for having an opinion, that's fine. Uh, hey, let's listen to the page. <laughs> David Gandy, I like to think of you as someone who would be a great plumber. Yes, you would. Oh, it's totally. I surprisingly feel like you actually would know what you're doing. I suck when it comes to fixing my toilet. <laughs> really not good at it. Every time I'm trying to look up videos, and usually it's the simplest solution. But I feel like I can count on you. You would probably just burst through a pipe yourself, show up, and fix it yourself, and Yahoo! I would love that about you. I could see you also being the third brother. Get Koi out of here. Yeah. You could be the third brother here at the Reject That's Nation. That's right. You would be our sage, wise brother who keeps us on the straight and narrow and teaches us everything we know about life. And then I could also see you being like Bowser, wanting to marry Tara Erickson, you pervert. <laughs> Tara, 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 Tara. <laughs> David Gandy, David, David Gandy. <laughs> Did you like this movie, David? I could see you not liking this movie. I could see you wanting more, and then going out and getting your like Super Mario toys and then photographing them in epic ways. You're also a hardcore Christian. Tell us the Christian metaphors you caught in this movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, clearly Peach is uh, is Mary Magdalene, Mario's Jesus, Ma Ma Maria's Jesus, <laughs> and uh, you know Bowser is Judas. Todd is Todd. Toad is Toad. John the Baptist. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> he yeah. Is. yeah, exactly. I think we got it. And then, you know, Peter, Luigi can be Simon Peter, who starts the church. And there you go. Four shout outs in one. You are the Jesus of our Patreon page. Thanks for being here, David.